Welcome to another video by the Pathfinders United. My name is John, director of the Golden Airs Pathfinder Club in Petersburg, Virginia. Today, we'll be going over how to make a tarp hammock. Stay tuned. Okay, welcome back. Okay, so today we're gonna to be doing a tarp hammock. Now this is gonna be a new experience for me as well. So this ought to be fun. Uh, first off, I've never slept in a hammock. I've never actually put up a hammock. So, but today I'm gonna to attempt to do a tarp hammock. Now I've seen pictures of it. Um, it looked kind of simple. So we're gonna see how this turns out. Let's go on a little journey together to the tarp land. Okay, so what we're using today is a six by eight tarp. So it's eight feet this way and six feet this way. We're using our two trusty trees that we use for a lot of our wilderness survival training trees. So now what I plan to do is on this end here and on this end here is gather them together like an accordion. And then I'm gonna fold it in half and attach a double sheet bin on this side and a double sheet bin on this side. Now I'm not really sure what I'm gonna attach to the trees yet. I guess we'll try to figure that out together. All right, here we go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I have the silver side to the inside. It really doesn't matter which side you put to the inside, but I have the silver side in. So I'm just folding this back and forth. Like an accordion. Now this is just a regular general purpose blue tarp you can get at Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot. Okay, so that's what this side looks like. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna fold it again, and bring it all together like this. Now I'm gonna put a bend in it, like so. Then I'm going to use a piece of paracord Of course it's tangled up, why wouldn't it be? Okay So I'm going to turn it this way So we're going to over through, under, and pull tight on our sheet bin. Okay, now we're going to go and do the other side. Okay. Now that we have both ends secured with our paracord, our next step is to connect it to the tree. Now what I want to do is probably put this roughly about chest high. 
so I can actually get in it. Have to take into account the little sag and things that the tarp is going to do. So I figured if I put it roughly about chest high, that should work. But we'll see. Okay, a little close up of what I've done here. <clears throat> Basically what I did is started here and I did a few wraps. I think it's about six or seven all together. So I did three wraps above my line and I did about three or four wraps under it. And when I got to this part here, what I did is I went in the opposite direction so I could actually tighten the rope against itself. So I did like a half a turn and went in the opposite direction and pulled it tight. Um, also on the far end, I had a little issue, well not a major issue, but what happened is the knot came loose. And the reason why it came loose because it didn't have any tension on it. So now for the moment of truth. Okay. <laughs> All right, now we'll go and try to get in this live and edit it. <laughs> okay. Already cracked my phone once. Don't want to do it again. Not too shabby! <laughs> Success! Woohoo! Oh, this feels all right right here. Oh, this ain't bad at all. Oh, this is all right.
<laughs> Top hammock. 20 feet of paracord on each side. Six by eight tarp. Trees roughly about six. And now roughly about 10 feet apart. Good deal. Let's get a close up look. Man, I'm telling you, this is all right. Yes, sir, buddy. And actually, if you wanted to, you can actually close this all the way up if it's raining. Hello, I see you. Okay. I hope this video was inspiring to you to get out there and try new things, new projects. Not everything that you have has to be purchased from the store. Again, this shows the importance of learning your knots and how knots can actually help do with countless projects that you're doing while you're out camping, while you're out just having fun at the campsite. This is a nice easy project. All it took was a 6x8 tarp that you can pick up at Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, and 20 feet of paracord per side. So roughly about 40 to 50 feet of paracord. And two nice sturdy trees. Um, caution here, um, when using paracord, paracord in itself do have some give to it so you have to account for the give when you're actually doing a project like this uh, but some of your other rope that doesn't give as much you'll be just fine until next time my name is john and remember we are the pathfinders united uniting pathfinders around the world until the next time